Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton and from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to explore the merge to panorama feature inside of Lightroom. But first, make sure you visit our sponsor, YMCamera dot com for all of your photography needs. These photos are from a recent trip that my family and I took to Italy. I only took my Fuji X100F with me and I really was not aiming for panoramic photos when I was photographing. I did notice that I had these two photos from the Colosseum that would work well for a merge. So what I'm going to do is hold down shift and click the second one in order to select both of them. Then we'll go to photo photo merge and choose panorama. As you can see here, Lightroom did a really good job at merging these photos and we have these three options. Let's just select them quickly so we can see the difference. We have spherical, cylindrical, and perspective, which I had a feeling perspective was going to crop a lot of the image because it's trying to keep straight lines straight. This is good for architectural type photography. And even though the Colosseum is architecture, I don't think it works well here. And actually, I think spherical looked the best and preserved most of the image. Typically, when I am using this feature, I choose to select auto crop. Now, this is unusual. Again, I was not aiming for a panorama when I took this. Usually, you would have multiple photos, at least three to five in order to get this. I only had two but it's still a good example. Now new in the latest update of Lightroom is this ability to create a stack that just organizes the photos on your film strip to keep things a little bit neater. So I'm going to select merge and wait for Lightroom to process that panorama, which in this case happened really quickly because these are JPEG files, so they're not that large. When editing these photos, I would recommend editing after the merge. And the reason is if you edit these files individually, and then merge them, you could lose some of your edits. So I'm going to press D in order to jump to the develop module. I'm not thrilled with the fact that this photo is not level. So let's jump to the transform panel and see what happens. This actually could get really interesting. Oh, but Lightroom did a pretty good job just on auto. So that's not too bad. And then at this point, I would add any adjustments to this image. This is JPEG straight out of the camera. I think that the Fuji did a great job. So I really don't see anything that I need to correct. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.